Hello and welcome to the CISD Professional Learning website. I would like to take just a minute to walk you through the places where you can go to look at the descriptions of what will be offered this summer and how you can register for those courses. You'll notice to the right of the home button is an opportunities button and the first link is going to list requirements. This requirements page will first of all have a list of all professional learning days for the following school year and that will be followed by the courses that are required in our district. For instance, our Tech Academy has been re renamed so that our secondary camp is called one-to-one -one camp. And if I click on the description, this description would take me to the syllabus page in Canvas. You'll notice the syllabus link is also listed here. For courses from outside the district that would not be offered in Canvas, the descriptions will be offered uh, on the page for you so that you'll know what that course is going to be covered. It will also show if there is a fee for the course. And if there is a fee for the course, then you would have to request permission uh, to be able to attend that course. You would have to get to the form in form space by clicking on the links that are provided. If you uh, get to the page, and you need more information on how to access form space, there are instructions listed here at the top of the page. And these instructions are listed at the top of each page um, on the website where the courses are located. You'll also notice that there is a calendar of events. This calendar of events is going to be listed in sequential order. You'll be able to see on each day the courses that are being offered. And if you want more information on a course, simply click on the name of the course and it will tell you when that course is, where it will be, a description, and a direct link to register in Eduphoria. You're also provided with the target audience for that course, the amount of credit that would be given, and then also who the course facilitators would be. If the course is being offered from outside the district, then you would also get the description, but we will provide the link where you have to uh, get approval prior to registering for the course. Many of these have a fee associated with them, so you need approval before you can go to that course. So this link will take you directly to form space where you can navigate to the form. You'll also notice that the instructions I talked about earlier are listed here so that you would be able to look at those instructions if needed. Also notice that there is a key um, to how the uh, professional learning will be offered. And so if you notice that there is an F to F in the front of a um, opportunity, then that's going to be a face-to-face -face session. If there's a BL, that would be a blended course. That means that there are some face-to-face -face components and some online components. And if you see an OL, then those would be the online components. This list you may go through and it's got all the different things that we're going to be offering this summer throughout the district so that you can register and sign up for those at this time. Once you are registered, then uh, you will be able to take those courses this summer. If you have any questions at all about the webpage itself, feel free to contact any of your technology coaches or instructional coaches and they can walk you through uh, what needs to happen there. Um, if you have any questions about courses being offered, uh, you most, de most definitely can contact any of your directors for further assistance. Thank you very much.